Hey y'all, got a quick showcase for you today. This is the Opus One by Resonance Studio, a thick, chunky keyboard with a stunning weight design. If you like thick, this may be the board for you. Bezels, thick. Bottom weight, thick. Front height, thick. Rubber feet, yeah, thick. And price, well, I hope your wallet is thick. $680 in group buy. Yeah, that's a lot. Now, before we get into it, a quick message from the sponsor of this video, Yesel. They sent out their G1 Max bike, and I gotta say, it's really nice. It comes with a 32 inch HD screen you can use to connect to their app. It's a cost effective and flexible subscription that only costs $9.99 per month, and they don't require customers to buy a membership. In fact, you can cast YouTube or even Peloton when you don't want to use their app, which is one of my favorite features. The screen rotates 360 degrees, allowing you to move to the side to do some floor exercises. The bike is sturdy and rotates smoothly with various tension settings, as well as a couple of light weights to mix things up while you're riding. All this for only $499 is a great deal. I have an affiliate link in the description if you're interested. I highly recommend this for the price. Now back to the Opus One. Overall, I think the design is really nice, especially for those who like the chunky keyboard, which I personally dig. The top right badge is a nice touch, but to my eyes, it doesn't work so well with the rounded top corners. The real story for this board is the bottom weight. Now this is a PVD brass dark nickel finish and it looks spectacular. The Opus One logo on the bottom is really eye catching and the finish and detailing is pretty nuts. It's the thickest weight I've seen in any keyboard that's landed on my desk for sure. Now fully built, this thing weighs a scale tipping 8.6 pounds or 3.9 kg. Typing angle is seven degrees paired with a 23 millimeter front height which personally I think a lot of people, including myself, will need to use a wrist rest with this keyboard. The build process is really straightforward. It's a bottom gasket design, which uses Poron gasket stickers only on the bottom case. And the PCB is 1.6 millimeters thick and has two relief cuts in it to give you a little bit of flex when you type. It does have a little bit of bounce, but not something I would call flexy. Now here's a quick typing test using the Outlabs London Fog switches on a palm plate. Group buy information for this keyboard is in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.